Hi there. I am so excited to be sharing some of the customizations that you can do within HubSpot. In this um, individual tutorial, what we're utilizing is a parent HubDB table, children HubDB tables, and creating a Hubble module that is specifically for um, showing this information on a page. So here we have a page and we have the module. And in this case, we're utilizing this to uh, showcase an events calendar, for example. Uh, in the initial case that we utilized this for, it was actually for a certification process um, that companies were going through. And uh, this client wanted to showcase some company information that was pulled from HubSpot, uh, from the properties, and some that was pulled from the HubDB databases for those individual companies. So this is a little bit more simple than that, but it gets the point across and will get you on your way to successfully having those multi-level pages um, that pull in the HubDB information. So here's the parent page. We have the events, name of the events, some images, some dates, descriptions, et cetera and then a link that goes to the child page information. And this is just dynamically created. If you add a new row to the parent page um, and select the child uh, HubDB table for it, a new item will automatically appear for this. So on this page, we have that event information specifically for the, um, the specific event. And some of this information, how we format it, actually comes from the parent table. Some is programmed into the event. We might actually add a field for this together. Um, and then the event registrants, this information here is that information that's pulled from the child table. So basically, if somebody fills out the form, and this form does not relate to all of these items here, but if somebody fills out the form, then you can enter in this registrant's information. Now, in your case for this, you might want to have potentially two different pages, one to register uh, and one for the admin to see who the registrants are, um, or potentially um, you want people, maybe the exhibitors or the um, keynote speakers to have access to these registrants. So potentially um, we could filter in this information a little bit differently depending on that. However, again, just wanted to give you that code in order to do this basic layout uh, where we have both the main event page that pulls in the information from the HubDB table as well as that specific event information uh, and those registrants there. All right, so this is the overview of what we're accomplishing. Let's dive in next to the code that we actually utilize.